Hello and good morning to you. It's Sherry here from Fit to Be Live, and as promised, I have two more dog food recipes to share with you. Halo has a lot of nicknames, and one of her nicknames is Joe Beans or Low Beans, and sometimes we just call her Beans. Another nickname is Bobo. Come on, Bobo! names apply to both the ingredients or the shape and the dog but I'm delighted to share them with you. A very happy birthday wish to our best little pal Halo who's 14 years old today. I'm gonna get it. Oh, oh, oh. Yay! Sweet puppy. Are you happy? Yay! You may remember in a previous video, I shared that she was really not doing very well towards the uh, end of summer last year and into fall. We are just ecstatic that she's doing as well as she is. She's playful, she feels great, she's eating great. And it is all because of this switch to cooking her real foods, whole foods, and uh, just all natural ingredients. For this first recipe, you're going to need four cups of bone broth, unsalted, one and a half cups of cooked chicken, one medium carrot, one medium sweet potato, half a red pepper, half a cup of chopped kale, two tablespoons of uncooked rice, 12 kidney beans, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one egg, one teaspoon of ground sunflower seeds, and one tablespoon of ground flaxseed. Putting this meal together is quite simple. Simply mince your chicken, vegetables, and beans. Place into a medium-sized saucepan. Add your bone broth. Bring it to a boil and then reduce the heat to medium. Stir in your rice and cinnamon and cover and simmer for 15 minutes. Stir in the egg, cook for five minutes more, and then stir in your seeds and serve. Well, little interruption here. If you're liking this video so far, I would love it if you drop a like. If you wanna click on that subscribe button below so that you see more videos of mine, that would be absolutely terrific. Thanks so much. To make this recipe, you'll want to start with a medium-sized bowl. Place your meat and oats in the bowl and combine them. Then heat a small frying pan, melt the ghee, and add all of your chopped vegetables, sautéing for approximately 10 minutes until soft. Allow them to cool only slightly and then add the vegetables to the meat and oat mixture. Form into one inch meatballs, place on a baking sheet and bake at 350 degrees for 15 minutes. Then flip them 
and bake for 10 minutes more. Allow them to cool before serving.